Hey guys, Matt here. You're sitting with me in front of my new 2017 Civic Hatch. And uh, today we're going to do something that a lot of Civic owners probably don't want to do. And as a car enthusiast, this hurts me a lot. But we have to mount a front plate. This is the bracket that I got from the dealership. Now, I've looked for all the other options. I thought maybe I could mount it down here. Uh, your intercooler is right down here, and I really don't want to block airflow to that. I don't want to find out if it causes an issue. I considered it mounting it over to the left here out of the frame. There's no way for me to do that without covering the fog light, so... You know what? We're just going to put it where it goes from the factory. And to those worrying about holes that you're going to drill in your bumper, you know, Honda's actually already put two little divots there, so cosmetically, it's not going to make much of a difference at all. Um, another thing I was thinking about in my other car, uh, I was backed into the other day, and you know where they hit is they hit my license plate right on the front here. So if I didn't have that on there, they probably would have scuffed up my bumper anyways, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna follow the factory procedure here and drill the holes in. And just let's just get it over with. So, anyways, uh, first thing I'm gonna do. It's really cold here. It's probably about 30 degrees in my garage. So I'm just gonna take my heat gun here. Really just warm it up as if it was sitting in the sun for a little bit. Okay, next thing we're going to do is just go ahead and make sure that these holes in the plate bracket line up with the two little dimples that they've put on your bumper here. And I just eyeballed it real quick. Mine seems to line up fine. And as long as Honda's process control is okay, then you won't have a problem there. Now the next thing you're going to do is the most upsetting part, which involves a power drill. Now, my plate kit included these screws here, and I thought that these were, were fine. Initially, I was going to take off the bumper and go at it from behind and get machine screws in there, but I decided that we're just going to go with the screws they gave me. So, through trial and error, through pieces of plastic and wood, I figured the right size for the screws they included was going to be a 9 64ths drill bit. I'll just verify that here. Yep, this is a 9 64ths drill bit. And I'm not going to just go right away to the 9 64ths because I'm trying not to split the paint here. So we're going to go ahead and load in a, a, a 3 64ths drill bit just for a pilot hole here. Okay. So get real close. Center your drill bit in the divot. Suck it up and just squeeze the trigger. See, that wasn't so bad. Let's do the other one. Don't go too deep. You really don't need to go more than half an inch into this. So the next thing I'm going to do is step it up to a 5 64ths. And I'm doing the step up here just to reduce any risk of cracking the paint. Center it in the same hole. Curly cues of Aegean blue. That, that's sad. All right, we're almost over. Here's the 964. This will be my final size that I take in here. These are just the things you gotta do. I live in New York and I don't plan on moving to a state that doesn't have a front plate requirement. So that is this is my life. Anyways, now since that's over with, you can drive the screws in. So go ahead and take the 
two screws that they've given you and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now you might be tempted to just drive these in with the drill, but I like to do it by hand. That way I know if I am going beyond the limits of the plastic. Get it threaded in my hand to start. Make sure it's square. And get one screw started. There it goes, right into the bumper plastic. Okay, the other one. Now the, the plate actually has a, a slotted hole on this side. So if you're off by just a little bit, it's not gonna be a problem. You can see the, the holes in the bumper are perfectly lined up to the Honda badge, so we're good there. All right, you can't see it anymore. We've done what we had to do. I'm just gonna pull these in evenly. You know, check the bracket. One thing I didn't mention is that I uh, went ahead and cleaned underneath here with some quick detailing spray. My, my car wasn't too dirty, but I went ahead and cleaned underneath there to remove any kind of extra uh, dirt or anything from the last wash. It's also really not a bad idea to take this opportunity and put a nice coat of wax under there. If this is gonna be covered, you're never gonna get it during your normal waxing. So that, that is how you put the front plate bracket on. And the last part, it's pretty easy. It's like any other car. I'm gonna put on my new front plate here. And they give you four of these screws here. Um, these are Phillips head and they've got a 10 millimeter on them. So I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter. Um, the plate bracket, when it, when it comes to you, the, the holes are just kind of dimpled on here. I went ahead and, and drilled them out before I put this plate bracket on and uh, made sure that the screws were going to thread in nicely, and they do. So if you haven't done that yet, this will be a little more difficult. Yeah, so they go ahead and put in. You can hit them with touch-up paint. And honestly, it's not going to look much worse than the dimples that were already there from the factory. So there you have it. This is a pretty secure plate mount. Um, I feel better knowing it's on here. I'm not going to get pulled over for not having a front plate. And God forbid somebody decides to just tap right my bumper. They're going to hit the plate and not the bumper. And hopefully the damage would be minimized. So there you have it. I plan on doing a couple other videos for this car. Um, it's really a new car, so there's not going to be a lot of um, maintenance videos other than the normal preventative maintenance, oil changes and all that. But I plan on doing some other things. This is actually a, a sport hatch with the manual transmission. So I didn't get the, uh, I got basically the base interior on it. And so I'll be upgrading a couple things there. So look out for more of my videos. Um, hoping to make this a regular thing on my channel. And thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you get over the idea of drilling a hole in your bumper. Really, it's not that bad. It's just you got to get over it and do it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like this video, subscribe, uh, do, do whatever you need, and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you want to drill holes in your bumper or not. So thanks for watching, guys.